Welcome, everybody. You're listening to Possibility in Action with Robert Party, the podcast where we broaden our perspective and empower ourselves in five minutes or less. So let's get started. Hey there. Today, I wanted to talk a little bit about the perspective of sacrifice. And for those of you that have listened for a long time, you know these things tend to pop up in my mind, whether it's from talking with friends or an experience I've had or just out of the blue, maybe dreaming. But recently, a few things happened, and I realized how important it is to understand where you're going. Now, as many of you know, I live in Italy. In fact, I live in a very small village in the mountains of Abruzzo. And let's just say part of living in a very small medieval village is that many things don't work. So this winter, for example, I don't know how many times the power went out. There was no electricity, so therefore there was no heat. Or because they were doing construction and the town is so old, they wound up cutting gas lines or rupturing a water main, which one time I was actually in the shower, covered with soap, and ran out with a towel around me to my balcony and asked what was going on. And they were able to repair it enough for me to rinse off, and then there was no water for about two days. And then recently, there was a little small earthquake, and then there's been something going on where there's days that go by that I don't have cell reception or internet. And because of that, I haven't been able to do some work. And the perspective could be one of frustration and anger and thinking how much of a sacrifice everything is. Or I could think about that I'm the active one here. I chose to live where I live. There are so many benefits to where I live and what I do that it has really enriched my life. So when these things happen, they're part of an overall equation. To give you another example, soon after my wife and I got married, money was very, very tight. We were very young. She was 21. I was 23. We just graduated. It wasn't as if we were making tons of money. And we chose to go and live in Arizona for a while to experience ourselves as a couple. I had already been working and they were gracious enough way back when to allow me to work remotely, which was an anomaly back then. But we were so strapped for cash that when McDonald's had a sale of 25 cent hamburgers, we would go and buy a hundred hamburgers and freeze them because we were willing to make the investment in other things in our life. We wanted that experience to live in Arizona. Even in New York, I can't tell you how many weeks we would just eat hot dogs. So those things can be looked upon as a sacrifice. But if you are clear on your why, if you are clear on your direction, on the purpose behind the steps you're taking, you'll see that those things are not sacrifices. They are actually investments in who you're becoming, in the life you're crafting. So the next time you're confronted with something that feels heavy, in Italian they say pesante, it's reminding you or it's making you think of how much you're sacrificing to get somewhere. Think about that end goal. And if that end goal or if the situation is purposeful to you, it's not a sacrifice. If it's not, it will feel like a sacrifice. And that's your signal to rethink your path and move towards something that feels like an investment, and then go out and live as possibility in action. Until next time. Thank you for listening to Possibility in Action, and I'm looking forward to seeing you next time. Take care. Ciao.